Hey Sagittarius, this is your love reading from September 3rd through the 10th. It's late, I'm sorry, there's a lot going on in my house right now. Um, anyway, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. Okay, guys, so crowning energy, you have the hermit, um, could be dealing with a Virgo, I don't know why you can't see this right now, there's, whoa, hold on guys, falling over, okay, sorry about that, so the hermit, um, reverse, so you're coming out of a period of isolation, of being kind of a recluse, you know, going within, trying to figure shit out. So you're coming out of that period. Your recent past, you have the Ace of Swords, which is a new beginning. Um, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you're not dealing with one of those signs, it's just a new beginning um, with clarity. So you're going for it, you're clear, you know what's going on, um, your perception's not off, you know, you know what you have to do. Your present, guys, you have the magician. Good for you. So you're manifesting your goals, you have everything that you need <coughs> to accomplish everything that you want, and you're using all of those tools. You see he has all of the elements there. Um... So that's you. That's you being the magician. That's you controlling your own destiny, your own life, right? Now your future, you have the reverse nine of cups. Um, water, energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If you are not dealing with one of those signs, there's some, something happened where you didn't get your wish. This is the wish fulfillment card reversed. It's lack of wish fulfillment. Um, and it could also mean something totally different, like somebody's overindulging in alcohol. I'm just going to throw that out there, but whatever. Since it's a love reading, it, it's looking like you didn't get your wish. Something that you really wanted didn't come to fruition. We'll find out what that is, though. And down here at the bottom, guys, more water energy, Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, if it doesn't represent one of those signs for you. This is the Regret card. Um, it's crying over spilled milk. So if you look at it, you see there's these three cups spilled over in front that this guy's crying over. He's upset all these three cups spilled, but he's not seeing that there's two upright in the back. So all is not lost. This is just, you know being sad over something that happened not currently you know like past doesn't have to be 10 years ago could have been last week but it's just regret sadness all right let's clarify some of these guys so I'm going to clarify the reverse nine of cups why are you not getting your wish what is the deal here Because if you're being the magician and accomplishing your goals, then you should get your wish, right? Come on. Yep, there's one. <laughs> well, that's odd. Okay. 
So the reverse Nine of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Cups upright. Um, so you may have some back and forth energy here. <laughs> you may be dealing with some sort of relationship that's back and forth, up and down, you know? It sucks and then it's awesome and then it sucks and then it's awesome, that kind of thing. Um, otherwise, this is just your two potential future possibilities depending on what you do with this magician in your future. So it's up to you to manifest which one of these it's going to be, right? That's how I'm looking at it. It's, it's up to you. It can go either way, 50-50 right now with this one. Otherwise, it's a really back and forth relationship. So... I'm going to clarify your Five of Cups here down at the bottom. Why the sadness and regret? Oh. Alright. So, Ten of Wands, your energy, also Aries and Leo. Um, Ten of Wands is the burden card, and it's a really dark card, and it's really dark in here right now, so I don't know that you can see it. Um, move one of these guys over here right now. Alright, so Ten of Wands is burdened. You're carrying around too much weight. You need to put down some of these burdens, right? You have this Five of Cups over here. You're sad. You have regret. And you're also weighed down by all of this regret and sadness. Like, completely weighed down. This guy can't even get up right now. Um, you need to put some of that down, alright? Okay, I am going to come back to my original deck and clarify these two Nine of Cups here. Is this a back and forth relationship or does this just mean that the outcome is up to you and what you're manifesting? I mean, generally life is up to you aside from you know, some things that we really have no control over. So, let's see. <coughs> yep. That is way too many. Okay, so it's clarified by the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, if you're not dealing with one of those signs. Um, threes in love readings can sometimes represent third party situations. Um, however, it is, it is reversed, so maybe you're coming out of a third party situation. Um, otherwise, it's a teamwork card if it doesn't represent a third party situation. Um, it's a teamwork card, so it's reversed so people aren't working together. Um, so, if you're not working together, you're gonna end up here in this Nine of Cups not getting your wish. If you are working together, you're gonna end up here getting your wish. So. While you're over here being the magician, manifesting your goal, make sure that the other person that you're dealing with is working with you and working towards the same goal. See what I mean? All right, I'm gonna clarify all this crap down here in your outcome because what the heck, it's not good. Why the 10 of wands down here in the outcome? the Sagittarius need to do about these burdens aside from drop them.
That's two, but we'll take them. Huh. Okay, so clarified by the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. More Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. If you're not dealing with an Earth sign, you're feeling really dependent. Um, this is the Independence card, upright. She has everything that she wants. She doesn't need anything else. She has absolutely everything there, and she did it herself. Reversed, um, you feel like you're lacking, and you feel dependent on someone else, right? Now, the other one that fell out was the Queen of Wands, which is your energy, fire energy. So you could be dealing with another fire sign. Otherwise, this is what you need to keep in mind about yourself. You are fire energy, right? You're ambitious, you're goal-driven, you're energetic, you're passionate, you're creative. You go after what you want. So don't forget that about yourself. Make sure that you are still being your fiery self. You have all this crap down here, this sadness, this burden, this dependent energy. Don't forget who you are, all right? Don't forget how much passion and energy you have all by yourself. You don't need to depend on someone else for that. Okay? All right, so keep being that magician, guys, and get your Nine of Cups. Make sure you're working together with whoever it is that you're dealing with. All right, see you guys.